Hi everybody, I got something to show you today. Look what we have here, new toys, yeah. You saw the unboxing of the Garmin 710 bezel cam. So here's the review, ready? My name's Kevin, I drive for Crete, I'm a solo driver. This is the joy of trucking, hit that subscribe button, sit back, I wanna tell you a story about this thing. So this is the Garmin bezel cam OTR 710. So in the name, you hear a lot of weird things there, right? First of all, it's a, it's a GPS, right? Helps you navigate, helps you plan your trip and all that sort of stuff. Has a lot of information that it can show on display while you're driving and, and so on. It's also got this cool little camera on the backside. So you mount it up there on the, on the windshield someplace and it's facing forward. And as soon as you turn it on, it starts recording. It record all day and then it'll overwrite the next day. So if there's anything you want to save during the day, you can you can download that. But it has a few other features too. But first I want to say that as a as a navigation tool, this is really good. I, I went out and bought the Dezel Cam OTR 800 last year and it's my favorite toy. I plan every trip with it. I got an eye on that thing while I'm driving all day long and it's it's got a really good display it gives you really good directions and all that sort of thing so this is a next generation so to speak the 710 will give you sort of a split screen display of your destination sort of like the satellite image which is really great because then you can see you know how you're going to get in there and where the guard shack is and what the approach is and all that sort of thing and as far as navigation again it's it's a really good navigation tool so this is the start screen you can see it says where to so if you hit that you can punch in your address, you can go to different services, truck location, even recent destinations you've been to. So you can kind of build a library of places you normally go and then, you know, punch in the address or whatever and, and uh, it'll give you the route. Here's the button for the dash cam. So if you hit that, you'll see what the camera sees and that'll help you aim it, point it in the right direction, right? And then you've got your gallery. So here you go to look at videos that are already in the memory. So that's great if you wanna if you wanna look at something that's there, if there was an incident, if there was something that you, you wanna save from the from the library. And uh, what this will do also it it can be triggered by an inertia event, you know, just like the ones that we had on our on our trucks before where if the truck suddenly stops or rolls or something something happens that's a sudden jarring movement, it'll automatically make a recording. But also in the if you see this little button here, this is like a like a little microchip icon or something. And when you're when you're driving, you'll have that up here in the corner. So if you reach up and tap that, it will make a recording 15 seconds before and after you hit that that little icon. So you are intentionally saving an incident which stores it in a different part of the library that you can access quickly. Well, let's say something happens on the road in front of you and you want to save that as a video you can access it and download it now to do that though you got to get the app on your phone and then through a wi-fi connection you can access the memory in here there's also a vault where videos are uploaded to a cloud setting and in which you can access that through the app as well so saving videos and downloading videos and edit editing videos that's all quite possible which can come in pretty handy because there's a lot of weird stuff that goes on out here and you can see there's stuff displayed here on your on your navigation screen while you're driving there's your speed this button is programmable with a lot of different information like the outside temperature your location your direction the elevation the the grade the time I like to keep it on the grade. I like to know when I, you know, if I'm if I'm climbing a hill or going down a hill, how steep it is and how I should adjust my driving accordingly. And uh, but I also like to know stuff like the distance I've traveled. It'll show you your speed if you want. It'll show you uh, the time, you know, until your arrival. There's all kinds of different things that you can have displayed on that one button. There's your there's your latitude and longitude and, and stuff like that. So all that stuff is there. This thing also can show you locations of upcoming rest stops, upcoming restaurants or fuel stops and stuff like that. That's a lot of stuff you get on this one little device. You can also uh, do voice commands. So if you want to say, hey, Garmin, show me this address, like number two Smith Street in, in Jonesboro or whatever. And then it'll pull up the address so you don't have to be pushing a bunch of buttons there to listen to you and do what you say. 
you can sync it with your phone. So now you can take your phone calls through it. You can use your headset, you can sync it with your headset and it'll send the directions to your headset while you're you know, talking or listening to something. You can also sync it with your phone and use it a, or, or a media device. So then you, you can tell it, hey, switch tracks or turn the volume up or turn the volume down. And if you sync it with your phone, you can get weather reports as well. So this thing will even display weather. That's a, that's a lot of stuff for a little device like that. Real good things to know. I'm very happy with it. Also, we'll mention when you got when you should be taking a break. So it's kind of tracking, you know, when you start driving and when you should be taking a break. It'll say, hey, uh, in one hour you should be taking a break, right? Little reminders like that too. Really good stuff. I know you're gonna want to get one right now. So if you are interested, click the link below. Tanya's gonna put it down there in the in the comments section. And if you go on that, then you'd be helping our channel out a little bit when you buy this particular product. All right, that's all I got to say for now about the Dezel Cam OTR 710 from Garmin. Give me a thumbs up. I hope I did all right. Comments down below. Let me know what you think and hit that subscribe button. Bye for now. I'll see you down the road.